group of guys brought their friend to Jesus. This man was paralyzed, unable to walk to Jesus on his own. Someone, or a group of someones, had to bring him to Jesus. When Jesus saw what they had done for their friend, he gave the man what he really needed. Son, your sins are forgiven. Immediately, the uproar begins. How can a man forgive sins? That's God's job and his alone. Right, exactly. Forgiveness of sin is a gift from the Father, through the Son, by the Spirit, for you. And it's announced, it's put into your ears in the strangest of ways. There's a man, an average human being who has been trained and called by the church, who at the command of Jesus speaks Jesus for you. Put it another way, Jesus uses the voice of your pastor to be his voice for you. Well, who can forgive sins but God alone? Well, in the stead that is standing there for Jesus and by the command of Jesus, your pastor forgives you your sins. At the cross, Jesus spoke the ultimate absolution. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. Now, may, you might have thought that this was just about those with a hammer and nails, but those words are for you. As a sinner who sins, you have no idea what you are doing, how or have done, or what you will do that needs forgiveness, just like those with the hammer and the nails. Your sin is the reason why the Father sent his only begotten Son into this world to that cross. Jesus came for you. And so that you know for certain that your sins are forgiven, Jesus gifts you with a pastor to announce the absolution, forgiveness for you. With the pastor's voice, Jesus puts his forgiveness into your ear. The gift-giving Holy Spirit gives you faith to believe those words, to have the full assurance that sin is forgiven in heaven and on earth, and it's for you. As Christians, we're to forgive others. You are privileged to say to others, I forgive you in Jesus. At the same time, Jesus has given to his church this special gift of absolution from him for you through your pastor. In the Sunday morning general confession, but especially in private confession with your pastor, you hear Jesus announce forgiveness for you. That's why Jesus has come. He has come for you. He has come to forgive you all your sins. He has come in mercy and forgiveness and love for you. All gift from the Father, through the Son, by the Spirit, for you. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.